my name is Laura and I'm finishing off my master's in drama therapy and I am also in theater and do performance and spoken word and um, write plays and put them on actually and re often related to mental health advocacy kind of stuff. Schizophrenia is uh, a type of disorder where um, you often have positive symptoms like hallucinations and delusions, um, like hearing things that aren't there or thinking things that aren't based in reality, or um, the negative symptoms, which is um, often not being able to, to feel very much or very intensely, having sort of a flat um, gaze, having an inability to um, communicate very well. And the cognitive symptoms are just feeling really slowed down intellectually because of the whole process. Psychosis is um, one of the symptoms of schizophrenia. It's basically when you have a break from reality and you often will hear things or see things or feel things that aren't there and you'll have thoughts that aren't based in reality either. I first started um, hearing music that wasn't there. I was on the bus and I was going to an appointment and uh, I heard this beautiful opera sort of type um, music. And then after about 10 minutes of listening to it, I realized that there was no source of this music. And then I started hearing voices and then I stopped um, having emotion and I stopped being able to really um, think or feel or read or write or understand when people were talking. I, I was terrified. I was really scared. I told some of my friends. Two of my good friends stuck around. Two of my other good friends couldn't deal with it and they sort of stop talking to me. So that was hard. That was a really hard time. One of the hardest things for me was losing my ability to function the way other people my age could function for a while. And having any kind of faith that that would return was really hard, especially because a lot of the information out there is quite negative. However, it tends to be quite outdated and um, a lot of really important studies have been done um, that show that people have a very high chance of recovering, especially if they get treatment early. I went to see doctor after doctor here until I finally got to the early psychosis program um, where they identified it as a psychosis and I was eventually given the label of schizophrenia and um, I was given antipsychotic medication which made the hallucinations and delusions um, the strange thinking um, and the, all of the like seeing and hearing things, like those kinds of things, they went away. But um, it was the confusion and the lack of the ability to think or feel, which took a lot longer to come back. Um, but my doctor just kept telling me to be patient and to just do things, because you can't really get better if you're sitting back and doing nothing. <laughs> and the stereotypes are often that people think um, that you're dangerous, that you are useless, that you are um, totally off the wall, unpredictable. When, when someone thinks that because you're having a bad day that it's related to your illness, or they think that um, because you know, no one takes you seriously sometimes because they think you're, you're paranoid or whatever, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things like that. A lot of the things that you'll read are totally not up to date and not accurate on the internet. I would also say that. There are a lot of normal people living normal lives with this illness and you, they probably wouldn't tell you. One to two percent of people um, in the population have schizophrenia. When I met other people who had gone through similar things, um, that was helpful. When I um, went to a clubhouse where there were other young people who, um, who were going through similar illnesses, and, uh, and they were okay with me not being able to communicate super well at first. They were okay with me just finding my way back um, toward being sociable and, um, and being able to uh, just get along with people the way other people do. So it was really nice at that time to have my little cocoon of people that were sort of like, ah, oh, we've been through it, we don't care, you know, you can, you can be wherever you are today.
once I had people who were okay with me being who I was and and that really um, made a difference to me and it actually ironically allowed me to come back to a place where I could contribute uh, a lot more than I would have ever thought I could again. I would want any young person to know that it's really, really workable. Um, anything is workable. Um, if you seek help, if you get treatment, if you um, allow someone to help you out, um, sometimes with schizophrenia, the, the insight into the fact that you are ill is not there. So you need to have other people help you. If, if you have someone in your life that is going through something like that you think might be this, um, know that just being there for them is like the most important thing you could ever do. Um, I would say surrounding yourself with people who understand. They don't have to be people who have been through it, but just people who are going to treat you unconditionally like yourself and who are going to have faith that you will recover. Um, because anyone can and, and many people do. It can really seem like it's not possible. It can feel like it's not possible, but it totally is.